How was up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's Dean Boss here after this honest vid. It's titled 2025 Grammy Nominations and Snubs. Okay, but we're gonna see who's getting nominated this year. Um, I feel like the Grammys just happened. That was about to happen again. Time is flying, but, but sure, let's see what's going on. Let's watch. The 2025 Grammy nominations have officially been released. You guys know the protocol. We're going to review some of the nominations, give some thoughts, Iggy. predictions, is that Iggy? and also talk about some supposed no, snubs. For best R&B performance, we have Guidance by Janae Aiko, Residuals by Chris Brown, Here We Go, Coco Jones, Made For Me, Mooney Long, and Saturn SZA. I think overall, this is a pretty reasonable selection. I'd have to say Mooney Long Made For Me. It made song. so many waves and was arguably the R&B hit of 2024. And it resonated because it has a throwback feel as well. And I think people have really been craving that as radio is moving away from the more trap, hip hop inspired style of R&B that rolled over the past few years. Of course, I wouldn't be surprised if this went to Saturn by SZA. SZA hasn't released anything bad, so a SZA win is never a bad move in my book. And the more low-key pick for this category, I think would be Coco Jones's Here We Go. For best pop duo slash group performance, we have Us by Gracie Abrams and Taylor Swift, Lead by Jeans by Beyonce and Plus Malone, Guest by Charlie XCX and Billie Eilish, the Boys Mind, Ariana Grande, Brandy, and Monica. Die with a Smile, Lady Gaga, and Bruno Mars. For this category, I'm pushing for the people that really pushed pop culture forward and didn't just give us radio filler. Of course, I'm talking about Charlie XCX and Billie Eilish, which I think is not only the most interesting but strongest collab here. Even though it's the strongest collab in this category, I so wish that the Girls So Confusing remix was nominated instead. But I get it, Billie is a critical darling and she and Charlie wanted to maximize her odds to win. Die With A Smile is okay, safe adult contemporary ballad with two superstars. I do like some of the melodies and some of the production on the track, but it feels very phoned in. It's not exceptional by any stretch of the mind. Mm. And for that reason, I could see it winning over something a little more daring, especially given that Bruno is also a Grammy darling. For best pop dance recording, we have Make You Mine by Madison Beer, Bon Dutch Charlie XCX, L'Amour Extended Edit, Billie Eilish, Yes And, Ariana Grande, Got Me Started, Troy Sivan. Out of this category, Von Dutch is by far the best song here and definitely deserves to take it home. I do like L'Amour by Billie, but I think the original version is better. While I hope the voters push towards Charlie, I think Billie is also an obvious choice. For best melodic rap performance, we have Kalani, Spaghetti, We Still Don't Trust You, Big Mama, 3AM. Hey, out of all of these, it that. has to be <laughs> Feature and Metro or Beyonce for the win. Yeah, Though I, I wouldn't I like mind it going to an underdog like Rap City. I definitely think Flo Millie should have been in this category for Never Lose Me. Yeah. For Best yeah. New Artist nominees, we have Vincent Boone, Sabrina Carpenter, Dochi, Crane She's Finn, not a new Ray, artist, Chaperone, Why is she on here? Shibuzi, Yeah, Teddy Shibuzi. Swift. I feel like they need to Look change this category name to on. Best Breakthrough Artist. Yes, Sabrina Carpenter has had a massive year, but it's not like she was completely in the abyss before Short exactly. Sweet. Exactly. She had a moderate pop career so under Disney with look? backing and songs that have literally hundreds of millions of streams. Emails I Can't Send was also a decently yeah. successful release. I don't think the term best new artist should equate to reaching superstardom, which is why a term like Breakthrough seems to be more suitable for this category. I would say 259 million views is superstardom. Was that not superstardom seven years ago? I mean, obviously, over the years, it's acquired more and more views. But, you know, I'm pretty sure she got a lot of those back then when it dropped. So why are you now a, a nom for Best New Artist? Picks for this category would definitely though. have to be Chaperone and Ray. They both had amazing gears. And Ray has like really them. grinded from being held back say. from the industry, going independent and doing her own thing and to come back bigger than ever. Chapel has released some of the biggest pop songs of the year and really has created a cult of personality around her. Dochi is good, but I think she still needs to release that debut album. Bits and Boone is literally just wallpaper music. Talented yeah. dude, but his music is just wallpaper. Ooh. I wouldn't be surprised if Sabrina takes it, but come on, she has she six albums released on major labels. Yeah, nah, She's the furthest fair. thing from new. But Chapel and Ray are definitely my predictions. For best R&B album, we have 1111 by Chris Brown, Here, Lucky Day. Vanta Black by Lala Hathaway, Revenge by Mooney Long, Algorithm, Lucky Day, Coming Home, Usher. 
This category is a this album. I don't love it as much as Candy Drip, but the there are four songs on it that I really really like. Um, but yeah, I don't like it as much as Candy Drip, so it was a little bit disappointing because I'm you know naturally just comparing it to his previous album, but you know I still really liked it. I haven't heard any of these other albums. Well, I've heard Eleven Eleven, but did I go back for the deluxe? I don't think I did. Um, yeah, I haven't heard Bit of a yet. mess, but I definitely had to go with Lucky Day or Mooney Long. Yeah, the Usher Lucky album had some good songs, but it was too long and very inconsistent. For best rap album, we have Might Delete Later by oh, J. Cole, Perry Cole, The Auditorium by Common and Pete Rock, Alligator oh, Bites Never Healed by Dochi, The Death of Slim Shady. Well, to be, to be fair, <laughs> I only listened to the J. Cole one, Dochi, and Future and Metro. So out of those three, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Might Delete Later. Might be biased, but yeah. Um, we don't trust you, Future and Metro Boomin. I'm pleasantly surprised to see Dochi here. That mixtape had a lot of gems. Yeah, good for her. And it showed a lot of promise. I, I didn't like her. the J. Cole or Eminem albums. They just felt like more the same. I think We Don't Trust You is fun, but Bye. it's not that great of an album. Actually, I wouldn't I be surprised to see this category go to a more seasoned act like Common. It would be cool if Dochi got it, but realistically, I think it's between Future and Common. For best country album, we have Cowboy Carter, F1 Trillion, Wow, no Shabuzi, and Whirlwind. Are y'all dead? This category is pretty stacked. I thought Nah, nah, this is this is trifling. What? That album is so good. I just went to his concert. <laughs> that album is is damn near flawless. So this is what y'all playing with. And this post below album ass trash. I hate it. <laughs> you know, but granted, I, I just started listening to country music and the only country music that I've liked is Beyonce and Shabuzi. <laughs> so, you know, take that take my opinion with a grain of salt. I mean obviously I always take it with a grain of salt. But um yeah, I really didn't like Post Malone's album. Uh Cowboy Carter, I really like, but you know, people have their opinions about it not really being country, so whatever. But overall decent body of work these last three never heard these people plus malone's venture into country was very substance -less. it just felt like country tropes thrown together delivered in the most generic manner yeah I'm like while i like cowboy carter i think at times it's too focused on trying to prove something Is rather it? than just doing it I don't get it's that also way. too long deeper well is okay i feel, I feel like if beyonce was trying to prove something i feel like she would have leaned even more into the country sound but because you know she was experimenting and like trying different things i i feel like it was just her being herself it was very natural to her that's why she said this ain't no country i want some beyonce album period um so yeah i don't feel like she was trying to like prove herself in the country space I feel like since Golden Hour, Casey hella, has really hella, hella had a country. hard time coming with something that is just really solid. And the Lainey Wilson album has some good songs on it and is probably the most traditional leaning country album on this list. Chris Stapleton is an enduring figure. I can see this going to Beyonce or Chris, but I wouldn't be I'm upset if it went to a newcomer like Lainey. For best country solo performance, we have 16 Carriages, okay, I'm Not Okay, The Architect, a bar song, It Takes a Woman. For this category, I think it is easily between Beyonce and Shibuzi. For Song of the Year, we have a bar oh, song, Birds of a the Feather, Die with him. the Smile, Fortnite, Good Luck Babe, Not Like Us, Please Times Three, Texas Hold On. This category is tough. The ones I don't think deserve it off the bat are Fortnite, Die with the Smile, and a bar song. The ones I think will be in the battle for this are Not Like Us, Birds of a Feather, and Good Luck Babe. The ones I think it should go to are definitely Good Luck Babe or Not Like Us. I feel like both of these songs exceeded in what they were trying to convey, how they were performed, and the production. Song. The only thing is, Not Like Us is a diss song, and I'm not sure if the Grammys will actually give a diss song song of the year. Well, they shouldn't I mean, have put it in the damn song, nomination if they didn't do that. That would bounce. be trifling. For best rap song, we have Asteroids, Carnival, Like That. Not Like Us, Period yeah, glow. glow. It will likely go to Not Like Us, but I really like Like That. Me too. Even more than Not Like Us. I'm not sure if that's Same. controversial or not. No, but. it's not at all. Although, I really fuck with Not Like Us. Great song, all that. It united LA. <laughs> it was amazing for, for what it is and for that purpose. But just overall, sonically, I like Like That better. I just do. That song just did something to me. That, that The production on that, oh, oh, it's so good. It's so fire. So I've worked out to that a million times. 
Um, so personally, my favorite would be like that out of these. I just love the addition of everyone on this track. Carnival's fire. Either too. way it goes, it's likely going to Kendrick. For best song written for visual media, we have Ain't No Love in Oklahoma. Better Place, Can't Catch Me Now, It song. Never Went Away, Love Will Survive. I think this one is a toss up between Olivia and John Batiste, though I can see a legacy act like Barbara Streisand getting it as well. For best music video nominees, we have Taylor Swift, ASAP Rocky, Fortnite by Taylor Swift and Post Malone. 360, Charlie XCX, Houdini, Eminem, Not Like what? Us, Kendrick, I love this, this ASAP Rocky song. He got a video for it. What did it come out? This is a great I selection. I like all the videos, but Not I Like Us, slipped. but 360. I'm about this shit. For Hold record on. of the year, we have Why Now and Then, The Beatles, Texas Hold'em, Beyonce, Espresso, Espresso Sabrina Carpenter, 360, Charlie XCX, Birds of a Feather, Not that? Like Us, Good Luck Babe, and Fortnite. For record of the year, once again, Good Luck Babe and Not Like Us. It would be nice That's to see Birds of a Feather or try. Espresso get it, though. I love that Charlie is in this category because 360 sounds literally nothing like anything here or anything on the radio. For Album of the Year, we have New Blue Sun, Cowboy Carter, Short and Sweet, Brad, Disease Volume 4, Hit Me Hard and Soft, The Rise and Fall of a Midwest Princess, and the Poets Department. Here's the thing with the Album of the Year category. I she feel like just a straightforward pop album of Even if you're subpar, are. it's easier to get nominated in this category. Whereas with other genres, the album has to be the most exceptional thing to get nominated in this category. I would love to see a wild card and underdog like Brat get it. Realistically, I think it will go to Billy, Who which is also a good snow? album. Which everyone it goes to, I think we can all agree that the Tortured Poets does not deserve it. But given how the Grammys have thrown Album of the Year at Taylor over the last few years, Brad, that's why I said it is a big possibility. But that would be awful because it is just not good. For best pop vocal album, we have Short and Sweet, Hit Me Hard and Soft, Eternal Sunshine, The Rise and Fall of a Midwest Princess, The Torture Poets Department. Definitely Hit Me Hard and Soft. I think the Academy might lean towards Taylor in this category, even though it is the worst album in this category. Absolutely. But the contenders, well, I think, I will be heard, Billy uh, Taylor and Sabrina. For best. I haven't heard. Um, Corey? Um. Chaperone's album at all. Maybe I should listen to her because people, you know, they keep hyping her up. Maybe I'll check it out. Um, but yeah, all these other albums, I react to all these other albums on my Patreon, period. Look at me trying to venture into the pop world, even though mm, the only ones I, <laughs> I already talked about on my Patreon. But the contenders, I think, will be Billy Taylor and Sabrina. For best country duo, we have Cowboys Cry 2, Two Most Wanted, Break Mine, Bigger Houses, and I Had Some Help. Miley and Beyonce definitely need to bring this one home. For best dance electronic album, we have Brad, Three, Hyperdrama, Timeless, and Tilos. Brad undeniably needs to bring this home. For best R&B song, we have After Hours, Burning, Here We Go, Ruined Me, and Saturn. For best R&B song, I have to go with Tim's or SZA. I like both of those songs. I really, really I love, love the Tim song though. Yeah, why she's not on here more? Oh, that's such a shame. I love that album. Best engineered album. One of my we favorites. Have Algorithm, Sion Blue, Deeper Well, and Pathogen, I Slash O, Short and Sweet. I'm happy to see Willow here. I would like to see her album get it, but I think Sabrina has the stronghold here. Her best rock performance, we have Now and Then, Beautiful People, The American Dream is Killing Me, Gift Horse, Dark Matter, Broken Man. I wouldn't be surprised if the Beatles got this just because of what it represents culturally, but it should go to St. Vincent. For best country song, we have The Architect, A Bar Song, I'm Not Okay, Easily I Had Some Help, and Texas song. Hold'em. Come on. Once again, Beyonce or Shabuzi deserve, and I think they have the most likely chance as well. For best pop solo performance, we have Bodyguard, Espresso, Apple, Birds of a Feather, Good Luck Babe. I love this category because I literally like think Every single song is good or great even. Body and it's just a nice reflection of pop in 2024. I think it could literally go to any- So Birds of a Feather, <laughs> I reacted to this album and uh, it didn't stand out. I don't even remember listening to this song, but I heard this song a while ago when I was out and I was like, this is Billie Eilish? This sounds so good. Maybe because it was just loud and I listened to it in a different environment and maybe because I was drinking a little bit. 
I don't know what it was, but that song was hidden when I was out. And I was like, I need to download this. And I've been playing it ever since. Great song. I'm like, why didn't this stand out when I first heard it? That's why I always try to go back and listen to songs again. Um, I didn't really do that with, with Billy. I did it for a few songs, but I was just like, I was annoyed with... I'm, I'm just not a fan of her work. <laughs> and, you know, the way that she sings. I'm just not a fan. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I probably should have went back. And, and re-listen to those songs because I feel like the second time I would have I would have been like wait this is a hit because it is anyone in this category but who I think is most likely to go to is Billy or Chapel Apple Espresso and Bodyguard are all good songs though it would be fun if this category had tied votes and one of those rare instances where there's more than one winner and I think that concludes all of the major categories. Who are the snubs? Now let's talk about some of the supposed yeah. snubs because I saw this article by the Rolling Stone pop up. And of course, fans are having their annual like meltdowns. What, what, but I what thought they it do? was interesting because <laughs> I think for the most part, part be the for? nominations His? weren't all that bad this year. Yeah, I, I do think there are some shoddy spots in the R&B category, but overall, I think it was an accurate reflection of the year. So they said Dua Lipa was one of the artists snubbed. And I'm just like, can we stop pretending? Oh. In a year of pretty excellent and at times exceptional pop music, Dua Lipa came with something that was slightly below average. She was mm. not snubbed. Let's be all the way real here. They say Megan Thee Stallion was snubbed. And I can definitely see that for the rap categories because Hiss was such a huge record. And that she had a, good you know, a few popular songs. So, but yeah. nah, they got they got some heavy hitters in the rap category for rap songs. So I, I feel like no. Just no. No. <laughs> Stacked up against the other people that was nominated for best rap. No. Alright. But I, I did love this song. I think that's But really she wasn't simple. snubbed. Ariana Grande misses the major categories. Um, I feel like I wouldn't consider this a snub. She was still recognized yeah. in multiple categories. And she the competition was just so high year. this year. No. Um, they say Tyler was snubbed. And it's one of those things like, can we be serious, guys? Okay. Tyler has been all snubbed. over social media and at every award show. But at this point, she literally only has one hit. And that one hit is what she won a Grammy for last year. Yeah, she was not was snubbed. They say Tanache was snubbed. That I can agree with. Oh, for Nasty? Nasty and really a lot of Tanache's work over the last few years oh, deserves yeah, Grammy recognition. Been a good pop one. She's been one of the most consistent artists in her field of R&B and pop. And the Recording yeah, Academy fun. has even acknowledged her growth, yet hasn't officially recognized her in the award ceremonies. But that about concludes my thoughts. Yeah, she was she was snubbed for Nasty. First, I was thinking about her album. I'm like, girl, bye. But yeah, the song, yeah. You win some, you lose some. But you live to fight another day, all right? <laughs> it is what it is, y'all. Take y'all out and go and watch our business. I don't feel like uh, there were any subs, to be honest, based on the, the nominations. I feel like they did a decent job. Um, so, yeah, we'll see who wins. We'll see what the live performances are like. Looking forward to, you know, reacting to the ones that I want on uh, Patreon. So, we'll see. I don't even know when the Grammys is, but I'm sure it's coming up. <laughs> but anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what the videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!